Hello, hello, hello! Eternal Feather Film fans, thank you for um, watching this video. If you are watching, thank you so much. Um, I am excited to see uh, little by little um, the more clicks and likes and views. Um, it's encouraging. It's encouraging to me because um, my goal with Eternal Feather Film is to use my video skills that I've done over like this course of six years. <laughs> um, I have five classes yet uh, to finish. I, 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 I went away in 2014 uh, just because there wasn't a real um, desire on other people's part to join in on this film. So now that I'm more like, now that I have an iPad, now that I have like a means to, you know, communicate uh, on through video on YouTube and stuff and, and get people interested and get the word out there. Um, so Eternal Feather Film, um, I, I explained a little bit about my personal history in another video um, regarding my exposure to and, and experience with the Native community and how like I feel that God called me to um, put on my heart the Native nations in particular. Um, you know, we're all called to minister and called to encourage in different areas. I feel like uh, my heart is very heavy for for this community because, like, me as a Christian and having had a friend who was Native American uh, before and hearing on a personal level, like, their struggle of being a Christian in the non-Christian Native uh, family um, and, you know, but not just their, their experience alone. It led me into other, um, hearing, uh, a speaker at the college that I went to and just like my own experience of wanting to be a native as a kid and being told, no, you have to be a pilgrim and not liking the bonnet that they put on me and stuff like that. So, and then finally, uh, when my granddad died back in 2013, I believe it was, um, inheriting my great grandfather's painting uh, that he did in 1916, which is 101 years ago now, um, and you know him wanting to uh, through painting uh, make you know as an artist uh, keep that you know to to show people the beauty of that way of life um, that they live that I found beautiful and that I want to do maybe not with painting, but with film. Um, so I've, I've connected with different ministries, I've connected with different native um, forums, and uh, I'm beginning to reach out and see, you know, like, how can I help? How can I, um, as a filmmaker, like, how can, and a writer, you know, how can I educate people? Um, how can I help uh, with this reconciliation process? Um, because there's a big divide between the native community and the Christian community. Um, a lot of the Christian community does not recognize, um, you know, that, uh, the, you know, how, like, the stuff going on with the Dakota Pipeline has really distressed me. Um, I've gotten really emotional about it. Um, I, w I was crying, you know, like, when, when I heard that it had been stopped, and now they're still going about doing it, which is wrong. It's wrong morally, it's bad business. Um, you know, it's, we wouldn't like somebody doing this to our, to our cemeteries, to our, you know, and, and in essence, it is going to affect us. It's not just the Native community. It is going to affect us if this pipe, when, not if, I'm sorry, not if, um, when this pipeline does leak, because there has, you know, you go on to Google and I was very easily, very easily found information on pipeline links and stuff like that. Um, in the, in the lieu of the immensity of information available to us, we've kind of become lazy. Um, so laziness is a part of it. Um, not realizing how it's relevant, uh, the faith-based community in part, um, you know, it's relevant because it has happened many, 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 many times before, not just in Dakotas, 
uh, but you know in other states as well um, and just to realize you know that as believers we have long 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 uh, been a face of treaty breaking covenant breaking promise breaking when God calls us to be the opposite he keeps his word <laughs> to us and he calls us to to have our yeses be yeses and our noes be noes you know to to keep our word but what we have presented the Christ that we have presented to the native nations in particular not just them but in particular them <laughs> you know is oh well, let's just sign this treaty and then screw them over um and that's that's not cool it's not okay um we've done it over and over and over and over so how do you rebuild uh trust is an issue that i want to weave into my film um the culture of trust um so the culture of trust i it wasn't just this cultural uh issue of trust um with the native nations but us as an American culture, like you go onto any you you type in like distrust on YouTube, you can find a plethora of like, you know, ten things that guys do, ten things that girls do, you know, to that you know prove distrustworthy behavior and all this stuff. And there's such an emphasis on not trusting people and not you know, don't trust people and this and that you know and look for distrustworthy behavior. Uh, and yet we still trust, hopefully, you know, our doctors. Um, there, there isn't a lot, of, you know, with, with the film school that I was at, uh, there didn't seem to be a real enthusiasm for a documentary. So if you are a documentarian at heart and you love to, um, you know, get information out there about really cool, interesting niches and stuff like that. Um, I am looking for a cast and crew. Uh, I, I had some people for the cast, but I, and I can do that, but like people for the crew in particular, if you, excuse me, if you want to send me uh, through on the contact on my Eternal Feather Film website, eternalfeatherfilm.com, um, I will take a look at your work, um, cinematography, sound wise, um, you know, there are people that I need. Um, not a lot, you know, because it's a small documentary crew, but um, still, people are needed. I can't do it all myself. Um, <laughs> so, um, please contact me if you are interested. I'm trying to get the word out there now that I'm using YouTube, etc. Um, now that I have the means to do that. Um, so, um, that's about it for now. Um, I just wanted to wish you a happy weekend, a happy new week ahead. I know Monday's coming up. It's not always the best day of the week. Probably busiest for some of you. It is for me. <laughs> but, you know, I hope that you have a good week ahead. And I just uh, want to say hello. It's been a while since I've, you know, touched base and been on YouTube. Um, I've been doing a lot of stuff and update. Um, for those of you who are new, um, who don't know as much about Eternal Feather Films, you could say, oh, well, she does a lot, you know, how does she do film? Or how is she going to do film? Well, basically, I'm going to use what somebody called a pitch platform, um, which is which would be Indiegogo, along with the book that I'm writing, you know, the books that I'm writing, um, particularly one book this year, you know, finishing that up, but um, the books that I write, the selling my old artwork, um, namely my jewelry and some of my, um, my old art pieces that I drew. Um, and as well as my Zazzle store. Um, I don't want to neglect uh, mentioning that either. Um, so the Zazzle store, jewelry, fine art that I've done, um, in the, I'm trying to sell that and my books, uh, that I'm writing. So, uh, on top of the pitch platform. So, um, that's how that's going to work, uh, greasing the wheels to turn, to make, then make more films. So, um, I have five classes, uh, to get my bachelor's in film at, uh, the school that I'm going to. So, I would really like to finish, 
Um, so I'm putting this out there, so if you happen to, you know, be a camera person, if you happen, you know, videographer, cinematographer, uh, audio, sound, you know, it, that's your skill, and you really are interested more about this film, please contact me. I'd be happy to share. I'll be sharing on YouTube, uh, so keep tuned with that uh, progress and just, you know, saying thank you. You know, I, I it really is encouraging to see people um, viewing my Facebook page for Eternal Feather Film. Like, even though people haven't shopped at my Zazzle store yet, you know, it's encouraging to see people um, really beginning to come around and it's like click on it, like it, or view it, you know, it's like, okay, good, it's getting out there, you know, somehow, you know, to give people some thought, uh, some food for thought. So, um, I'll, I'll be giving, I want to be more faithful to you fans, um, to you viewers, and so I'm going to be, try, I'm going to try to once a week kind of give an update on what's been going on business-wise, what, um, progress that I've been making and just you know so you kind of get to know me as the face of the the as the indie um indie film producer here um so yeah all right I hope that you have a great week good night for now